It happens every year. April 15th gets closer and closer. Americans finally make their last retirement account contribution and in a huge rush, file their taxes before it's too late. Unfortunately, rather than having a return, they're stuck with a bill. What happened? Welcome back to our Base Wealth Management video series. I'm Alex Wolf, Head of Financial Planning at Base Wealth Management. As we're wrapping up another year, it's time to look back at some proactive tax strategies that could save you money and prevent tax day surprises. Let's start with a popular topic that can be done at any time of the year, but has implications come tax day, the Roth conversion. If you're in a lower tax bracket this year, you might be thinking it's the perfect time to convert some funds to a Roth. While that may be true, it is important to have the necessary funds to pay that income tax owed on the converted amount. The amount you decide to convert is also added as income tax to your return and could bump you into that next tax bracket. Capital gains, we love them. Our money is working for us and not the other way around. But when it's time to sell that appreciated asset, you're going to owe taxes on those gains. By selling assets that are in a net loss, you can offset your gains to reduce your bill. In a year when the market or your securities depreciate, you can sell those securities at a loss and roll that into the next year to offset future gains. This is referred to as tax loss harvesting. To keep your portfolio balanced and not actually experience a loss, you can purchase a similar asset to replace the sold asset. Selling and purchasing the same asset within 30 days won't work though. That will likely trigger a wash sale and prevent you from taking a loss. An example would be selling Pepsi and buying Coke. A common investment strategy is investing in mutual funds. It is important to know mutual funds may pay out a capital gain distribution to holders of the fund at the end of the year, giving you a tax headache. It can be difficult to know how much in gains they may pay out. Maybe it's better to wait until after the distribution date to buy that fund. But who has the time to do all the due diligence, especially if you have a sizable portfolio and a busy career? To avoid this, you may wanna look into ETFs or let a wealth manager do the research and manage your portfolio. The tax savings alone could pay for the fee that they charge for their planning and investment services. Moving on to retirement accounts, and their deductible contributions. What are the best ways to lower your tax obligation? Unfortunately, many people wait until April to make their contributions. Even though many aspects of your tax situation must be wrapped up by the new year. So why wait? Getting everything done at the same time will give you a much clearer picture of your overall investment and tax situation. At the end of the day, your investment and tax strategies are so intertwined, it's impossible to untangle them. CPAs are more reactive when it comes to managing your tax strategy. A financial planner will optimize your investments so you can stay in the lowest possible bracket each and every year. Better yet, sit down with an advisor and a tax planner for the best possible strategy. I believe it is very important for your professionals to work together to make sure your money is working for you in the best possible way. If you have found this video helpful, don't hesitate to share it with friends and family who you feel may find it useful. And don't forget to subscribe for more tips and insights.